welcome back to the ukulele channel. Why is this not an ukulele? <laughs> We're on the ukulele channel. I'm Kalani. Welcome, everybody. Because I know you love ukuleles, I wanted to share a similar instrument that I've had for many years made by a friend of the channel, Bob McNally, creator of the strum stick. This is a strum stick, and if you're familiar with the mountain dulcimer or a dulcimer of any kind, you might say, hey, that sounds a lot like a dulcimer, and you're right. It has three thin metal strings, solid, um, no, actually, there's a wound string here. This one is the strum stick in D. Uh, it's D, A, D. Pretty simple. So you have a nice open fifth on the bottom. So this is the one in D. I believe there's one either on G or A, uh, but you can tune them a little bit either way. You know, this one you could tune down to E if you want or up to uh, C. And what is nice about this instrument, besides the sound, uh, I mean, it's a really nicely crafted instrument. You can see the sides, it's got some, I believe this is a birch top. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is birch or maple. Um, you know, beautiful little roser, roser, rosette in there. Uh, simple tuning, you know, just simple construction. But look at the frets, right? You see the frets? Not all evenly spaced, and they're not, you know, what's going on with the frets? Well, I'll tell you, and, and it's why this instrument is nice for people new to music making, uh, children, older adults, beginners, people that just want to play simple songs. And that is because this is a diatonically fretted instrument. What that means is that instead of every note on the piano keys, the white keys, quote, and the black keys, um, it's just got basically the white keys, with one exception. I'll talk about it in a second. So it's, it's easier to play major scale melodies because all I have to do is go up and down and I'm automatically playing a major scale. Because you're observant, you might have uh, so seen you might have seen that I skipped this fret right here, and that's because Bob, in all his wisdom, he gave us two types of seventh degrees of the scale. He gave us the major seventh and the minor seventh, or what we call a dominant seventh in a dominant seventh chord. So you can play, uh, for example, you could play. But you could also play. And if I play this, now I've got kind of a D dominant seventh, D seventh sound. So you have some options, but basically, if you want to just sing some simple songs, uh, you, can, you can play the melodies, and you can do it on the high string, the, the bottom string, or the low string. this as a what we call a drone instrument you could even just you can just do that and what's nice about this is that you could sing a minor key la, 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 because this is just a root, fifth, root, you could sing a major key. All right, it's, it's really flexible, gives you a lot of options, flexibility, and it's just a nice, a nice sound. It's kind of a drone instrument, simpler. You're not gonna play everything that, uh, on the strum stick that you would on the ukulele but that's fine. It's another instrument you can add. You could have, uh, uh, 
your partner or friend strum the strum stick while you play some fancier stuff on the ukulele. So if you're interested in these, um, go to strum stick, search strum stick, say hi to Bob over there at strum stick, and enjoy. All right, I'm Kalani. This is Strumstick Club, I guess, right now. Uh, if you like this content, if you appreciate this, hit that like button, subscribe, and see us at patreon.com slash Kalani for more music lessons and get the Ukulele Club multimedia resource for classroom teachers and anybody interested in learning more about the ukulele and getting lots of play-along tracks and videos that you can download over at teacherspayteachers.com. Thanks for watching.